one. Hard left. Right there. You got it. Oh, uh, turn around. Uh, up. Spin 180. Now take a diagonal to the left. Yep. Yeah, yeah. How would I define my vision? Yeah. It's not completely blank in any any means at all. I see basically like almost like the fuzziness of a TV, like when it's, you know, not no signal, you know, that that fuzzy, staticky. It's like that, but all those little tiny fuzz pieces are like even smaller and change color. They're like almost like the size of sand and change color like so rapidly and so quickly. Then it's kind of like northern lights waving through it with almost a, a lightning storm behind it, just all flashing and twisting and mixed in with like a kaleidoscope. I, I actually get fatigued from it sometimes just because it's, it's there 24-7. But my vision hasn't always been this way. I grew up kind of in the country, riding dirt bikes, four wheelers, and always trying to get around from like not going to school or not doing anything besides what your, you know, what your friends are doing. And then skate park popped up, like a firestorm went through my mind. It was just endless possibilities. You could stand on it any way, you could flip it any way you want. That's all I could think about. That was the beginning of everything, you know, skating. The whole atmosphere just grabbed me immediately. And I was just like, this is what I wanna do. I wanna fly around as fast as I can and spin and whip around. Skateboarding was that one thing. You know, something that you just, something that you love. My whole life, all the way up until I got sick, was just flying around as fast as I could. One day I was just out with my filmer Steve. We went to this like old broken down warehouse to get this clip. The ground was just horrible. And there was uh, probably like a two and a half, three inch crack at the bottom of the, uh, the, the embankment. And I hit the crack with my front wheels, flew through the air and hit the ground. Got a road rash from like my knee to my hip. And something so tiny exploded into something so large. MRSA is a flesh eating staph infection. It just moved through my blood system and um, I guess like it was, I was turning into like critical condition and I guess I was just getting worse and worse and worse and the staph infection was moving all over through my body. They ended up putting me into a, a pre-induced coma for a month and a half. The doctor was basically like telling my father that even if I do make it out of it, I'm gonna be like brain dead and I'm basically gonna be like a vegetable for the rest of my life. And then the next thing is like, yeah, he's only got like 1% chance to live. So you might as well just say your goodbyes tonight because he's not gonna make it through the morning. They were just completely expecting, like, yeah, this dude's dead. I mean, he's not, not going to make it at all. That next morning, 
my liver and, and kidneys started right back up that morning. Like, it just all kicked back on. I didn't really know what happened, but when I woke up, I just had longer hair and was super skinny. Couldn't move my arms, couldn't move my legs, couldn't, couldn't do anything, couldn't even talk. Come to find out, it made its way into my brain tissue and then into my optic nerve, peeled the retinas off the back of my eyeballs like wet wallpaper. And all the vision that I had, all the everything, it was just, just gone. I've, <laughs> I honestly thought, I was like, well, can't see now. I have no money, I have no job, I have no work history. I, I don't know how to take care of myself being a young kid, you know. It was really hard. I got really scared and didn't know what to do, so I just sank into my bed one day and laid there for probably about three months. Barely ate, slept all the time. Didn't care, hated everything. Hated God. <laughs> I just gave up. I just gave up laying in my bed. And one day, I just remember sitting up and laughing. I just kind of was like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I still have my arms and legs. I can still walk. I can still breathe. I can still talk. I can still think. I just can't see. I'm still here, so what am I going to do? Lay in bed and cry and mope and be sad, whine, and actually have somebody take care of me because I am a, such a pussy that I'm just going to lay in bed and let my life fall apart because I have no willpower or anything. <laughs> Can't do it. There's no way. There's no way in hell. <laughs> just kind of, I don't know, that one day just made me snap. wasn't going through uh, physical rehab or anything because I was stubborn so I had to do something so I'd go to the park and just stand on my board in the corner you know whatever and and I just remember hearing like the wheels of the skateboard and people popping their board and you know, doing a long grind and landing and remembering that satisfaction of like trying a trick so many times and then you finally roll away from it and I got a little bit jealous one day because my friends were skating half pipe and that I mean half pipe was always my favorite that day I I, did, I wasn't even thinking about it I wasn't thinking about falling I wasn't thinking about getting hurt I just I just wanted to make it to the other side put my front foot on slam the front wheels down made it up to the other side of the ramp and I was like yep it's on Dropped in, rocked a fakey, got to 50s, and then after that, storm of just blunts, 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 blunts. That was it. After I got blunts, I started doing ape shit. Spinning into grinds, spinning out of grinds. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was just shoving myself in the moment. I started taking off. And I started doing all the stuff that uh, I was doing when I had vision. My friends were, <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't, I don't know if they even knew what to think. After a while, they were like, oh, shit, he's doing it. I mean, okay. It, man. Repetition. You can try it so many times, eventually it'll come around. No fucking way. All right. Basically, it's just all muscle memory, and it's just that barrier of not being able to see what I'm doing. 
Mm-hmm. I'm just trusting it and flying around and letting what my body has learned in the past just kind of do its thing. I'm not thinking about tricks. I'm just thinking about what feels natural next. Just a beautiful thing, kind of. <laughs> my legs fall off (laughs) it's a good way to get out of your mind to actually be free the world doesn't exist around you it's just that moment where time stands still and it's just you and the thing that you love 